Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life. My name is John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how you never left us alone, Lord God, Lord. And thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how that you just um, kept us saved, Lord, kept us clothed in our right mind, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, Lord. We praise you for it all, Lord God, Lord. Now, we pray pray that you are blessed upon this very hour, Lord. Bless today's episode, Lord God, Lord. Bless the hearers, Lord God, Lord. Bless the listeners, Lord God, Lord, that, Lord, that they may uh, receive your engrafted word that is able to save and keep saying and to sanctify, Lord. Lord, whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to The Way to Eternal Life. And this is The Way to Eternal Life coming to you over all the major podcast station. We appreciate everyone that has tuned in each and every time. We thank you so much for those that um, have uh, either been downloading it or been listening to it online or wherever. We appreciate you all tremendously. To all of our first responders and to all the all the people that are still suffering from this pandemic, we're praying for you. That um, God will will richly bless you. We those that are mourning, the Bible says, "Blessed are the uh, mourners, for they shall be comforted." So we're here to comfort you, that to uh, believe God, trust God. And at this time, um. We do have some very good news before we get started with the with today's message and today's podcast that uh, we do have something that's very encouraging. Um, that those who um, tuned in to our um, iHeart Radio, we thank you so much for tuning in. There, we uh, we just we're just thankful for how that God is. Um, opening up doors we thank you and uh, we are now on iHeartRadio, one of the number one uh, podcast uh, stations we just so grateful and so thankful there and so we, we just appreciate and we just appreciate what God is doing thus far we're praising God for how that um, some are reporting to get healed the Bible says by his stripes we are healed so we thank you for the healing. We thank you so much for it, for what God is doing. So, and if you've been blessed by this podcast, we would like to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page um, uh, at uh, facebook.com uh, slash way to eternal life 53. We would like to leave a comment there. Let us know that, um, that you either rededicated your life back to him or that you gotten saved from one of the one of the message we would love to hear from you also email me at um contact john gill at way to eternal life.com we would love to hear from you at this time we do have a very special selection we pray that this song will be a tremendous blessing to you and we will be right back after this is after um, the song. So we pray that the song will be a blessing. May God richly bless, and may He keep you. Me. 
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. Lord, I know I need help. Well, okay, so you, you acknowledge that part. And that's good. And God says, well, what do you want me to help you with? And are you honest enough to admit what your issue is? Are you, if, are you, are you honest? Are you still lying? Are you pretending or are you for real? Because the Bible says God knows the intent of the heart. The word heart means the, it's the inward, it's not talking about the physical heart, I'm talking about the emotional heart. God knows what's in your heart. Because what's in you will come out you anyways. If it was already in your heart, it's going to come out your life. If you got bitterness in your heart, it will come out your life. It will come out in your attitude. I'm praying for you. I'm burdened for you. How are we teaching our children? Are we teaching our children about that, that, that same-sex marriage is okay? That's, Lord, is it I? Knowing that I ain't a Bible. Talking about we got an identity crisis. That's not an identity crisis. If God made you a man, when you die, you're going to die the same way you came into this world. A man. If God uh, made you a woman, when you die, you're going to be a woman. You can change all the sex Areas that you want, but when it's all said and done, when it all boils down to this, you will die the same way you were born, naturally speaking. There's no confusion on that. Oh, I always knew I was a man. When I'm a girl, I always knew that I was a man, so I've taken all these hormone pills and, and all of this, that, and the other. That is my God. Not God at all. Lord, is it I? Come on. All this rap music going on out here. And all this, come on, let, let's sing together. Let's sing Kumbaya, talking about I'll be there, count on me, and all this stuff. Well, how about this? How about counting on the one that actually made this? How about counting on him that's able to take the virus away? Come on. Instead of just singing about his count on me and the, he got the whole world. He's right, he does. He has the whole world in his hands. Praise God. But guess what? He's also the God of wrath. He's also the God of judgment. And he's also the God of mercy. And if you come to him, God wants us to humble our hearts. He wants us to humble our lives. He wants us to humble and come back to him. Before the everlasting too late. There are people that's been dying from this coronavirus, have been dying from different things for years. And some of them never, they left this world not knowing 
the God that made them. They left this world. You better do a real good examination of yourself, a real good examination of your life. Where are you in your salvation? Where are you in your walk with God? Where are you in your search for finding um, God? Lord, is it I? Lord, as a Christian, as a father of Christ, as a saint of God, a child of God, do we take prayer, prayer, do we take prayer for granted? Lord, is it I in my prayer life? I'm not where I ought to be in my prayer life. Lord, is it I when it comes down to my devotions and my reading, my Bible and my fasting and praying? I'm preaching to myself too as well. I ain't, I ain't just preaching to you. I'm, I'm looking at me too. Because when I'm preaching to you, I'm feeding myself. Because I got to stand before God one day. And how I live, how I talk, how I walk. Was I holy in all manner of my con uh, of all manner of my conduct? Was I holy in my talking? Was I holy in my uh, in, in my attitude? Was I holy in my in, 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 was I holy? Was I holy in what I entertained? When the Holy Ghost said, turn this off, and yet I'm still looking at it. And the flesh gets riled up over it. You know, pornography is a real strong demon. Yeah, I'm exposing that devil. Pornography is a strong demon. It comes in all different forms, but it's still the same spirit. Homosexuality, it comes in all different shapes, forms, and fashion. And it always sends subliminal messages, but it's still the same spirit. Lesbian, same spirit. Transgender, same spirit. Bisexual, spirit. I got to give an account of that. Well, that's discriminatory. No, it's not, because that's not what God said. That's why he's, the Bible says that he, and he is angry with the wicked every single day. Lord, is it I? Lord, are you angry with me? Lord, what can I do to fix this problem? After God has given you numerous of chance, numerous of opportunity, God, right now, let me tell you something to everybody that's listening to me right now on the sound of my voice. You have to give an account for what you heard right here and now over this podcast. Whichever podcast, whatever episode you just listened to, you got you will be given an account of what you heard. There ain't some somebody who don't judge me. No, it ain't about judging you anyway. That's the judge. And you're gonna give an account of that. You're gonna give an account of what you heard, and you're gonna give an account for what you read in that scripture. And you're also gonna give an account for what Jesus meant when he said it. You got to give an account. We know we love our loved ones. Some of us love our loved ones and everything else. But hate is strong. I got to give an account of that. Lord, is it I that has a hate spirit? It's stronger than any drug, any alcohol consumption that you can ever have. It's strong. Pornography is strong. 
Child molestation is strong. You know what leads up to child molestation? Is when you ain't satisfied with what you got. Yeah, the, the spirit of masturbation is strong. Oh yeah, I've been masturbating all day long. I'm, I'm exposing the spirit. You need to understand, this is not as, as explicit. I'm speaking from the, from, the, from the Bible. Lord is it I. Here you are, you getting all riled up, your flesh getting riled up, and you using your members ungodly and everything else, and all of a sudden, that ain't satisfying you. You go to the strip joint, that ain't satisfying you. So now, so now you, 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 you get aroused by a child. That's sick. Spirits lead into another spirit. See, that's why spirits don't die, they multiply. And let me tell you something, sin makes you a lunatic. You may not necessarily have been this particular lunatic that the scripture was referring to, but I'm here to let you know, sin will make you a lunatic. It will make you do things that you don't ordinarily don't want to do, but it will make you do it. Because you can't help it. You try to give up cussing and, and everything comes out. As soon as you get mad, you got to cuss. You try giving up smoking, but you can't, but that, that spirit, that nicotine spirit just all into you because you've been doing it for so long. See, let me tell you something. When you want to get saved, the devil will make sure that it, it, will bring, it will bring every single hindrance of you not getting saved. And it will come up with every consumption of excuses of not getting saved. Because the devil wants to keep you in his kingdom. Because he knows as soon as you give your heart and life to, to, to God, that it tears down the devil's kingdom. And he, and he knows that you have that much influence in your life. The devil don't want that. He wants to sin in many of his, of his, of his people because that's why the Bible calls it the devil, God's children and the devil's children. Yes, the devil got children. And they're running rapidly. They're all, all, they are all over social media right now. Doing ungodly things, doing twerking, and then singing these ungodly songs. Has nothing to do with God. <coughs> Excuse me. It has nothing to do with God. Sitting there, they're twerking away, and they're listening to the different music and everything else. And, they, and then, because you know, music brings certain things. It can either make you calm or can cause you to go wild. Why are you sitting there drinking your Mai Tai and your bourbon and your gin and your, and your whatever, your whiskey, whatever, and your, your vodka and all of this, that, and the other? You bloody Marys. Your whiskey. Your Budweiser. Your Coca. Your Corona. Come on. Oh, I'm a social drinker, but you're still a drinker. And the devil is making sure you get entertained by that. The devil make sure you get entertained by, by what's on Facebook. Gossiping on Facebook. Gossiping on, on Instagram. Gossiping on Twitter. Come on. They will make sure you get fired up over, over, over stupid things. Lord, is it I? I'm, I'm preaching to that. I'm so burdened to that. 
People use social media for, 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 for ungodly reasons. Taking pictures of their body parts. Got a 15-year-old, come on, having a 15-year-old coming on, on Periscope, doing, uh, taking off their clothes on, on Periscope. Taking their clothes off on Periscope. Talking about I'm 15 and having to be sexually active. And parents don't even know what they're doing. Playing what they call is peekaboo. Go on my premium Snapchat. I'm talking to you right now. Go on my premium Snapchat. Doing premiums and, and, and getting $5 to $10 to... We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.way to eternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuous episodes. And now, here is John Gill with the final thoughts. Lord is it I. You heard today's message. Whatever day you've heard it, you've heard today's message. And you're going to have to give an account for what you've heard in today's message. Lord is it I. It's not my brother, it's not my sister, it ain't my mama, it ain't my daddy, it ain't my auntie, it ain't my my grandpappy, it ain't ain't nobody else, but it's me, oh Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer. You heard these messages, you heard God's word, you heard God has been speaking to you. You know God has been speaking to you, you know God's been talking to you. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to blow it off or cast it aside? You know God's been talking to you concerning your walk with him. He knows that you've been talking, that he's been talking to you about, about your attitude, about your conduct, about the way that you live. You know he's been talking to you about it. Don't think you've got plenty of time and let eternity pass you by. Because you don't. Oh, poor soul, why would you linger? What are you going to do? Lost forever. wanted you to hear this in just the first verse. It says, where, and where is thy hope, poor sinner? What are you going to do? Question mark. Hope is a God-given anchor lavished so freely on you. If it is fixed in the Savior, on the bright shore, you will, um, the bright shore, you will land, but if in sin you still linger, sad 
your end. Lost forever, the chorus said. Lost forever. Oh, how sad. I don't want to get too emotional here. Young people, middle-aged people, older people, whoever you are, why would you linger? Why would you, you know God's been talking to you, you know he's been dealing with you. You heard the word, you heard the messages. Wherever you've heard it, you've heard it. Are you going to go to bed at night with a clear, you, would you rather go to bed with a clear conscience or would you rather go to bed still having things in your heart? And that you could have got things. This is your chance. The inspiration is here. The inspiration is now. Don't blow it off. Oh God, don't blow it off. It's time to get down to business with God. If, even if you are a recording artist or a struggling recording artist or an actor or an actress, you know God has been dealing with you. You know God's been talking to you. You know this, you know this. Any time for acting, any time for singing, it's time to get down to business with God. Lost forever. Oh, how sad. The Bible says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking. He's knocking. While the inspiration is here, while God is talking to you, take heed. Take heed. Take heed. And if you've given your heart and life to him, what does save me, as we oftentimes say, by Matthew 121, and she shall pray for the Son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for Jesus will save his people from their sin. Jesus' people are safe from their sin. What does repent mean? The Bible says that godly sorrow worketh repentance, not to be repentant of. God, he wants, it's not sorry that you got caught, but sorry that I wronged you in your side. I wronged you, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins. But let me tell you something, the devil ain't gonna let you go. You better really, if you mean it from the depths of your heart, Lord, help me. Lord, give me the victory over the spirit. Whatever the spirit may be, I'm, I am praying for you right now. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this day. Lord, we pray for each and every one of them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that the devil is trying to bind them, trying to keep them in the whatever condition that they're in. We pray a rebuke against the devil right now in the name of Jesus. Loose these souls in the name of Jesus. Loose them, Lord, and let them go. In Jesus' name. And if you really have declared, you must surrender all to him. Surrender your life. Surrender your heart to him and allow God to use you. But first, give your heart and life to him. Get saved. And after getting saved, stay saved. How do I stay saved? Obey God's word. Obey what God has given you. And God will give you the grace. He will give you the power to say no to sin. And yes to God. God did not give us the power to, to, to sit there in sin, but he gives us the power to stay free from sin. Lord, is it I. And as always, we'd like to hear from you. 
uh, contact me and email me at way to eternal life. Uh, excuse me, contact me and email me at contact John Gill at way to eternal life dot com or um, face, um, um, just um, do it on Facebook. Uh, our Facebook fan page is, is uh, facebook dot com uh, slash um, way to eternal life fifty three. And once again. There is a way to eternal life. May the Lord richly bless and may he keep you. Thank you for listening and may God bless and keep you.